Yo, what's up, people? What's up? What's up? This is Jonah, y'all, and I'm back, y'all, with another video and also another eye opening meshes and also a spiritual meshes, you know. You know, in this meshes, you know, I'm going to talk about what's going on in Ohio, uh, West Ohio. It's about two pimping pastors was raping teenager girls at the hotel okay and I know a lot of y'all people already know this and you know a lot of people already know two pimp freaks out there you know they be in jail alright and you know, I'm going to talk about this, but I'm going to talk about some spiritual stuff, okay? About the about this demon stuff, okay? Now, first thing is, y'all, if you are the kind of person or not spiritual, this message is not for you. If you are the kind of person, you think everything is a joke, you think everything is gang, you think everything is hot, whatever thing is on your mind, this message is not for you. If you are the kind of person don't believe in the spiritual world, this message is not for you. Also, if you are the kind of person you think I make things up, you think I make it up stories, you know what I'm saying? Whatever whatever is on your mind, this message is not for you. If you are the kind of person you haven't heard to talk about stop making up videos, this message in this topic is not for you. Don't even waste your time. Please don't even waste my time, your time, and God's time. Okay? Move on with your life, alright? If you are the kind of uh, person, you know, is a paganism, you know, you follow lies, where will you follow? This video in this message is not for you. Now, I'm going to talk about, you know, two pimp daddies, I mean, two pimp pastors, you know, his name is uh, Kato Jackson, I mean, Jennings, it's C O R O D E L L. Uh, Janice is J E N K I N S. Okay, and um, this person, you know, he supposed to be a pastor, you know, at the at the mega church, you know what I mean? And he was married to his wife, so you know what I mean. I'm just go ahead and just talk about this stuff, man. It just really just creeps me out, though, you know. But I'm going to talk about some spiritual stuff, man. You know. Some, you know, you got a lot of people out there believe, you know, the pastor did on purpose. You know, the two pastors have a sex with teenagers and all that stuff, though. You know what I'm saying? And you got to understand this, people. That's the demon possessed that dudes, man. Okay? That's not him by itself. Okay? That's the demon. That's the sex evil demons trying to possess that guy to have sex with teenagers that's right Teen, uh, uh, demons man the evil demons nasty ass demons from the pits of hell be using pastors to have sex with 13 year old 15 or 16 whatever the 16 year old teenagers man and it, it was so sad when people call themselves they're working with God don't you know what I'm saying? They don't want to tell you about this. You know? They're not even spiritual. They're not going to tell you, you know, pastor, two pim pastors was possessed by demons to have sex with teenagers, man. Now, let me tell you something about the spiritual world. Now, they got some sex demons, man. They start using people. They start, they start, they start possessing a lot of people, man. Yes, it is. They be possessed teachers. You know, to have sex with students, you know, man teacher, a women teacher has sex with students, you know, even churches too, nurses everywhere, all, all over, man. Demons from the pits of hell, they're looking for that person who loves to have sex. Now, you know, Satan, he knows everything about them. He knows everything about you. He knows something about you like to have sex. Now, he's sending the demons to, to, to um, possess y'all, man. But possess people, man. And start having sex with teenager girls at church. Now, you know, Ohio church, we already know two pastors, they're not going to give nobody no truth. Come on now. They're not going to give nobody no truth. 
They don't. They don't. They don't give nobody no truth. You know, they talk about they coming on worship the Lord. And, you know what I mean? And they probably celebrate Christmas as well. They celebrate uh, Easter, you know. But now, they got two life in jail. They like, they probably in prison right now. You know what I'm saying? But you got to understand this. It's not about them two by itself. That's the demon. He possessed by demons be using but using him up to have sex with teenager at the hotel okay now what's gonna happen if the demon was a, a, a you know possessive he he should not do that in the first place if he wasn't you know possessed by demons you know what i'm saying if he wasn't possessed by demons he you know he he shouldn't have done that because he he this dude he knew right from wrong this dude should know right from wrong but now he's going to his mind you know he ain't got no knowledge no more. You know. His he you know what I mean his mind all messed up. His, his mind's gone. You know why? Because he possessed by a demon. He let the demons come to his souls to have sex with teenagers at the hotel. Now he got caught. Somebody called the police in Ohio. Somebody called the police and, and put and find him and put him in jail. God sent the policeman. Yahoo was sending the policeman to sit his ass in jail. You know why? Because he has sex with teenager, man. And I just want to say, man, you know, I feel bad for teenager girls. You know, you not deserve to, you know, me to live like that. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I hope the parents out there, you know, to keep the children away from strangers, man. You know, and, you know, and I just want to say for their parents out there, you don't need to go in the church, man, you know. All you need to do just, you know, you know, just give your life to Christ. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to go on a church because ain't nobody, they're not going to give nobody no truth. They tell you all kind of false lies and all that stuff, though. You know what I'm saying? But it's up to you. You want to keep on going to church, you know, it's up to you. Then. But please, keep your children away from strangers. Don't even try to, don't even try to, um, you know, don't trust no Christians. Don't trust no pastor. Don't trust no deacons, man. Because you don't even know this person wanna have sex with your daughter or your son. You see what I'm saying? Because you gotta understand this, man. You know, I live in the world, man. You know, they got some got some peoples out there are like that, man. Because they are possessed by the demons. This is real. This is not the game. I'm not making things up. I know it's real, man. You know? And, you know, this dude was locked up. He probably, they probably, you know, lose his church or something. He not even preaching no more, you know, because he, cause he's so going in here. He let this demon to come to his souls to have sex with the teenagers, man. He's so gone. He's so gone. He ain't got no knowledge no more, man. They got him. They possessed him. Possessed that guy. They got him, man. Start had sex with her. Start raping her sad man i'm just have to keep it real with y'all you know what i'm saying and you know i heard about you know i watching the videos i heard about this guy talking about you know his the mega church they don't have no dudes in number of women you know what i'm saying they got they say they got a lot of ladies in the church with no man you know such as such is not right about that church you know you know but you know the church is messed up it's cursed you know you know, God, you know, Yahoo God is not into that church because the church is just all cursed. They don't have no truth speakers out there. No truth speakers at all. They don't give nobody no truth. They not really grab people out the fire. They don't do none of that stuff. They're just going to give you the false preaching. Talk about Jesus loves and all that stuff, though. You know what I'm saying? But the God don't even love everybody. Say only love his chosen people. You see what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, man. So, I just had to do the videos and just put out there, man. Two pimp pastors was possessed by demons. Sex demons to attack two teenager girls. 13, 14, 15 years old, man, you know. And he deserved to be in prison, you know. And, and I hope y'all guys... You know, to keep the children away from strangers, man. Because well, we live in the real world, man. This is not the fairy tale. This is real out here, man. You know, because Satan coming to kill, 
skill and destroy y'all and y'all should know that man and that's all i gotta be saying man take heed for this message man this is jonah y'all i am out peace